Hi there, welcome. In this video, we will look at a new feature in Microsoft Teams called Raise Your Hand. The Raise Your Hand feature helps participants notify the host that the participant has something to contribute. It is quite useful for companies that have webinars with multiple participants or in a virtual classroom. I have joined a Teams meeting as an organizer. As you can see, I have two participants who have joined in as an external guest using a web browser. If you look at the control taskbar, you can see the icon for raise your hand. Let's click on that. Now let's click on the show participants icon and you can see the list of people who have raised their hands. In this case, since I clicked on the raise your hand, the raise your hand icon is visible next to my name. If I hover the mouse over the icon, I also have the option to lower my hand. Let's have a look at the external guest view using a web browser. The external guest who joined in using a web browser also gets the option to raise their hand. Let's click on the icon. Now let's click on show participants and you can see that there is a yellow hand next to the name of the participant who clicked on that option. The participant can also choose to lower the hand if they need to do so. Let's now raise our hand again and see what the organizer sees. The organizer or presenter can see the name of the participant that raised their hand. They can then click on show participants and see the name of the participant again that has raised their hand. They can get the participant to contribute or speak and when they're done, they can click on the three dots and lower their hand. When multiple people raise their hands, they'll be listed in the order in which they raise them. The organizer can click on show participants and see the participants who raised their hand. The participants can also see who raised their hands. What's interesting is that the participant can also lower the hand of other participants. Note, this feature is not available on one-on-one -on -one calls. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, do like and subscribe to see more videos. Stay safe and see you in the next video.